Hey, Tom Wiley here, and today I'm going to show you how to improve your rain gutters. Uh, specifically, how to keep the rainwater going inside the gutter in, instead of going between the gutter and the house. So, let's take a look at it. Here's a long section of gutter that I just finished fixing. What was here before was this rain gutter was not fully attached to the fascia here. It was basically slung. I'm going to try to find right here. There used to be a strap that went all around, all the way around the gutter. And it was an aluminum strap. And it, it wrapped around the entire thing. And then the, about at the mid-span of that cross piece here, there was a bracket that you can see the remnant of right there. And that bracket just riveted to the center of the cross piece and it suspended the gutter uh, from basically just the the roofing here it was it's you know it's tucked under here and nailed under the shingles but it, it suspended it and made it so that the gutter wasn't firmly attached to the fascia so you could literally take the gutter and swing it out like this um, so combine that with the fact that the drip edge is way up here so the edge the top of the gutter is right there and right along here and then the drip edge is right there so rain cascading off the shingles drips around the, the drip edge and then falls and the gutter is more or less under it but swinging and not and you know the drip edge just it's way too easy for the the water to drip behind the gutter um, onto the fascia below so and that situation was happening right out right on that window there right along there there was icicles forming between right right here between the gutter and the fascia there was icicles forming here and there's a ton of moss that was growing on the the whole face of the wall there so it was just a mess and we're getting ready to put gutter guard on here so we had to get rid of those straps around the gutter anyway because the gutter guard has to go along this surface those straps would have been in the way, especially the one going up to the roof. So, um, we fixed it with these straps here. They are called Raytech Hang Line or Hang Tight Bracket. Um, this is a five a five inch K style gutter. I found out, and these fit perfectly. I think they probably make different sizes of these, but I'm not sure. Um, so we replaced the the strap things with these brackets every 24 inches along the whole length and then we also added this piece of sheet metal here it's basically just custom flashing that I had made to order and it's I had it five basically the flat face of it this face is five inches plus a three-eighths little kick out on the bottom so it's just like a piece of drip edge um, but longer and and it doesn't have a, an angle on top of it so it's just flat face so we just sl literally slid it up under the existing drip edge so now the water comes down here goes off this drip edge drips down this and goes all the way down into the gutter guaranteed it there's no way conceivably for it to get back behind the gutter um, the only place that is possible would be um, at these screw locations where we've pierced this metal. So these are um, regular like roofing screws, uh, metal, metal roofing screws, kind of like this. Um, little, you know, they're different because they have just a wood point on them. But they have this neoprene gasketed washer on them, except we moved that washer from here to back behind our, our brack hanger bracket here so so in hopes of that basically this bracket pushes against that washer which then pushes against this metal and seals the hole more or less so um, hopefully that will do its job there and I think it'll work pretty well um, yeah so really happy with this installation these these pieces of metal were 10 foot 6 long so we on this run is 27 feet long so we just overlapped it 
there in the middle and then had a short section there to finish up. We did the same thing on that gutter over there. It, it was dripping right above the steps there. It was dripping between the gutter and the fascia, making a big mess right on the stairs. Um, icy mess this time of year with the, all the snow and ice and cold. So much, much better. Um, we'll put the gutter guard on here and some heat cable and this gutter will be set. Uh, but I wanted to show you just this this uh, drip edge idea. If you have a gutter that's low hanging and the drip edge is not reaching all the way into the gutter, then this is a, an easy way to extend it. Um, it only costs about 40, like 43 bucks for five pieces of 10 foot six lengths of this five inch wide plus a three eighths angle on the bottom. So relatively cheap for getting all the water to go into the gutter. So I hope you learned something about how to improve your gutters and uh, happy guttering. Hope your water stays in the gutters where it belongs. And until next time, I'll catch you later. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you um, like seeing these handyman how-to videos. And I'll see you later.